you want to know what the best accelerator, the best pre-workout is for life, for your workouts, for everything, it's fear. Dude, no one has ever talked about this, but I'm gonna share it with you now. Everyone is posting shit about, you know, you should overcome fear, you shouldn't be afraid of fear, you should, you know, fear is bad. I think fear is the healthiest thing there is right now. Because if you didn't have fear, you wouldn't have motivation. Let me give you an example. Think about the cavemen back in the day, right? The cave guy, he's like in his cave and he's, he's chilling and he decides that he's hungry. Now, he knows that there's food out there. He's safe in his cave, but he's hungry. There's food out there. There might be a, a, a tree that has a piece of fruit on there. Now, for this guy to get that fruit, he might have to brave walking through the forest and dealing with like a saber-toothed tiger or something. He obviously has a sense of fear. And when you're afraid, guess what happens? Your senses are heightened. You, the, the studies show that you could hear better when, you when you're afraid, you could see better, you can smell better, and your dexterity is faster. Like you, you respond, you react faster, your impulsive movements are faster. Why that's important is fear is what's gonna help the caveman stay alive between here, his cave, and there, the apple that he wants. And for that to happen, he has to brave the saber-toothed tiger. And I say this because if you use fear as a way to motivate you, just like the caveman uses fear to motivate himself to heighten his senses so that he can survive the saber-toothed tiger attack and get to the apple and then back to his cave, then you're gonna be successful. See, I've got a very healthy amount of fear of losing it all. Because of that, I will always work my ass off, be a good steward of my money, I will hire the right people to help me grow my empire, and I will pay them well and take care of them and make sure their future is well off so that none of us lose it all. Because I see that me and my team were in it together. If I didn't have this healthy fear of losing it all, I might decide to rest on my laurels now that I'm making millions of dollars. I might decide that I can just kind of take my foot off the gas pedal and let the business coast because, hey, it's doing millions of dollars a month. I might decide to waste my money on things that I probably shouldn't get because, well, hey, they're good for my ego and I can post about it on social media, right? But I've got this healthy fear of losing it all and because of that, it motivates me to work harder. And so whether it's fear of losing it financially, fear of losing your health, I also have a very healthy fear of a heart attack. And the way I look at it is, I'd rather work out twice a day here in the gym, get my heart rate up, build my muscles, and I'd rather deal with a torn muscle or tendon or a workout injury than have some kind of a heart attack or diabetes or, or stroke that's gonna put me out of my my, my living condition for good. Like, I don't want that. I love the condition that I'm in right now, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. And so I've got a healthy fear of losing that. And so I work hard in the gym. I work hard on my diet. I work hard on, on my rest and my sleep. I work hard on my relationship. I work hard on every single thing that I'm afraid of losing. So if you think that you need to live life without fear, I'm here to tell you that that's the stupidest way to operate because fear is what keeps you motivated and keeps your instincts sharp and keeps you driven and on point so that you can create the outcome that you want in your health, in your money, in your business, in your meaning, in your happiness. So go dominate life and live in fear.